nowadays you see a lot more people using characters for fun rather than then trying to define their own idea of the meta of Genshin Impact, and Mona is a perfect example of that. The only time this really isn't true is when you're doing the Spiral Abyss, because this thing is a hell on earth, unless you're the most meta-defining human being alive. But today, I want to showcase one of my favorite characters, Mona Majestus. I used to main her back in like 2022, a long time ago. I wasn't very good at it. I made a video back when I was a smaller YouTuber, which did didn't do all that well. I felt like the video was a little sloppy. And now with different artifact sets, different weapons, there's kind of a new meta that has come into play in terms of main DPS Mona. Today, I'm going to try to show you guys my own DPS Mona and what she is capable of and try to show you guys a new way to play your Mona Majestus. Without further ado, let's get in to the video. Also, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. These videos take a lot of time to put together and only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So each individual subscriber really does help. Without further ado though, let's get back in to the video. This character has been around for a long time since the start of the game. And to be honest, she's never really fit into that category of main DPSs, but some people have found some really funny builds to build her in, where she's actually really capable in. And this has really come around since the new Dendro update. With the introduction of Dendro reactions and things like Hyper Bloom and Aggravate, you're finding a lot more fun comps that you can use with Mona. Also, she got a new best in slot artifact set in this domain right here, the Molten Iron Fortress. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Kekfin, you're crazy, her best in slot is obviously Emblem, and you're right, for a support Mona. Support Mona obviously uses Emblem in every scenario, you basically use Emblem on every single support you have. But since the introduction of this new set called the Nymph's Dream, this has kind of reinvented Mona in a new way. After you using your normal charge and plunging attacks, elemental skills, bursts, you're going to gain one stack of this thing called Mirrored Nymph, basically what these stacks do is they increase your attack and your hydro damage bonus. Now this is a big jump from what we had before. Before this new set, you're usually using four piece heart of depth for main DPS Mona, which is a decent set, but can be kind of annoying to grind and not one that I really enjoyed personally. As you'll see here, my pieces are somewhat lackluster. They can definitely be improved. My attack sense only has 20 CV, hydro damage, same thing. For the sake of testing, I'll try to even out my ratio a little bit more to show you guys the damage difference with Heart of Depth versus this new and improved set. In order to do that, I will have to use the Solar Pearl, which obviously isn't as good of a weapon as Widsith is. This will give us 27 crit rate and bring us up to 72, 167, which is pretty decent. With that four piece Heart of Depth, we're going to see how much we are able to do. I should also acknowledge before we do any testing, my Mona is Constellation 5. This wasn't by design. I just happened to get lucky, I guess, because I do like her character. The only Constellations that are really going to be helping me are going to be this C2, which is the main highlight of main DPS Mona. I actually don't highly recommend main DPS Mona to players who do not have the Constellation 2, because this one is just so huge in her damage output. Whenever she has a normal attack, she has a 20% chance to do a charge attack. It's a little random, but it's very, very reliable. Another great Constellation is a C6, which when she's in her Illusionary Torrent state, when she's sprinting, she gains a 60% increase to her next charge attack per second of movement with a maximum damage bonus of 180. That is is a very big hit and can do crazy crazy damage unfortunately i don't have that c6 yet now let's see here masanori let's test our damage so with one normal attack we do about 1500 1500 every time maybe 2k or 3k if i crit and then on our charge attacks we're doing about 10k and even 10k on crits 3k when we don't crit 10k when we do crit now i want to show you guys the damage when i use a four piece emblem and there we go, we're now equipped with a 4 piece emblem. On this build, I do have an attack percent goblet instead of hydro damage bonus. We're going to switch back to our Wid Sith. And now her stats are going to look like something like this with 75 208 crit damage bonus. And now let's go again. So in normal attacks, we're doing about 800 to 700, 2k to 1k on crits. This is actually weaker than the four piece heart of depth is this set is not as good on charge attacks 
Let's see how much we do. On charge attacks, we do about 7k to 8k on crits. About, about a consistent 7k on our charge attacks and 1 to 2k on normal attacks. Even with a better crit ratio, with about 30 to 40% extra crit damage, we're still doing less than the four piece Heart of Depth. Next up, we're gonna do the final set and that is going to be the Nymph Dream set. Let's see how good this one is. In this set, I will be running a Hydro Damage Bonus Goblet instead of an Attack Percent Goblet. If we look at her stats, she is running 59 to 13, not my greatest ratio ever. It is something that I'm working on. Now, obviously, to get our Nymph's Dream effect, we're going to have to hit Masanori about three to four times before it actually activates. So these first four hits are just to activate the set, and there we go. So our normal attacks are doing about three to four K now. We're going to see about a three to four K consistency here. On non-crits, we're doing about a thousand. Unfortunately, my crit rate's pretty low, but that is a fault of my own built. And you see there, 3,600. That's the highest we've seen yet on normal attack. Now let's try out charge attack. 11k. 11k again? About a consistent 11k per hit. That is about an 1,000 to 2,000 damage increase between sets. This set is also good for characters like Tartaglia. It could also be good if you wanted to do DPS Kakomi. Lots of good opportunities to use this set. This build is still a work in progress. It's never really done. I still don't have her best in slot for main DPS, which is technically the Skyward Atlas, is her best in slot main DPS weapon, just not something I've been able to get yet. As for artifacts, all these artifacts are work in progress. Artifacts are always gonna be a work in progress. Like this one can definitely be improved. 14% HP isn't great. This piece is pretty good, I won't lie. This one is also really good, I won't lie. This one needs crit rate, and this one could lose the flat attack. And obviously, I really want that Constellation 6, but you know what? I can't really control it now, can I? The only thing I can control is this. The final crown that I need to get for her to finally finish off her triple crown. I haven't done this yet. I don't even know if I have enough to do it, but we are going to try our damnedest. For this domain, we're going to have Mona play more of a supporting role because it is an ice domain with large cryo slimes and cryo mages, so a main DPS Mona would not really help us. But that was how she was intended to be built, so it is all fair and fine. Let's go try our luck in this domain. For this domain, we're gonna use my Dia Vapo team consisting of Dia, Mona, Jungling, and Bennett. I have a total of five condensed. Let's hope that's all we'll need to finally get her talents maxed out. Let's go. Obviously her burst is really good as well, doing like 50k consistently. A little more if we're able to crit. Go, Goba. Let's go. And then we do this. And come on. Hit you with the Mona Burst. And pop it. Pop it. Let's go. 50k. You love to see those 50k Mona Bursts. I can do about a consistent 50k per burst, which I think is pretty decent. Obviously, you're going to have those people online who are able to do like up to like 1 million, 2 million because they get the perfect Bennett, Sucrose, Mona, whatever set up. And then they get the perfect timing to perfectly set off the Mona burst to do like 2 million damage. But frankly, I just don't have the mental will to try that for 10 hours in order to get that. Bang! Written right in the stars. 10k, 90k burst, let's go. Get back here, bird. We can use main DPS Mona against these birds, though, even though I am on emblem right now. With Vapo, Mona's even better. I guess main DPS Mona can do a little bit against these slimes. Not very much, though. I can still use it every now and again, though. Just a little bit for fun. Like, look at that. 14k charge attack, and I'm not even trying. But she can be fun as a backup substitute in my Deha comp when, you know, Deha doesn't have her burst up. Because she doesn't have her burst up about a majority of the time, to be completely honest. 136k. Oh man, we're getting better each time. It can be a little difficult to get numbers like that, but sometimes I am able to get them when I get the right setup. Give me a gold. Shoot, I haven't got one gold yet. I haven't got a gold in a while now that I think about it. Man, still no golds. Are we actually just not going to get it? I'm going to be so sad if we just don't get it because we don't get any golds. I've gone through four condensed and not a single one. Ooh, big damage there, Mona. Let's go. And final final kill of the day. Let's go. Let's claim our final reward. And gold. Oh my gosh, I didn't get a single gold. Well, that's rough. Um, I guess we'll just see if we have enough. It will just depend on if we get lucky in the crafting table or not. Hopefully we do. Just give me like 20 doubles in a row. Certainly cannot be that hard. Watch this. Seven doubles right here right now. Eula, bring it home for me. Not even close. Okay, 11 doubles. 11 doubles. 
Watch this. Bang. Two? We'll take two. Two's not terrible. Is that enough, though? Do we have enough to take her normal attack to level 10? Oh, just enough. Just barely. Okay, but I still need four more energy nectars. Four more energy nectar, and then we can finally ascend her normal attack to the next level. Let's take that bad boy to level 10. That's the last crown I'll ever do for this character. Crazy. Finally, triple crown Mona is here. How many crowns do I still have? I still have 14 crowns, man, dude. I don't crown anyone ever. I, I crown so few characters on my account. If we look at my character archive, I only have a handful of characters at level 90. I really only level 90 characters I like because I'm trying to build every character in the game, which is a tedious task and one that takes a lot of grinding if you're not a whale. But now that we have our level 10 normal attack Mona, we have her signature. Oh, wait, I don't have her signature set on. Give me a second. We have her signature set on now. Her split is 64196. I actually was able to improve it a bit with the different attack sands. 1700 attack. ER is a little low, but generally you don't really need ER. 88% hydro damage bonus. We're running the Widsith. Constellation 5. And that is our finished main DPS Mona for right now. Why don't we actually try her in a viable comp? One that she actually highlights in. Because right now, all we've really shown is her individual damage. But she can do a lot more if we build her in the correct comp. For example, Mona Fischl, great pairing. Electrocharged is huge. If we throw Nahida in there for Denjo reactions, it's even bigger. With these three alone, we can get some absolutely crazy Hyper Bloom damage. Lastly, I usually like to go somebody like Kuki Shinobu or maybe Kokomi just to be safe and have the healing high. So I think we'll go for Kuki Shinobu. And we're going to try out this comp. Now, why don't we take our team into the dreaded floor 12 with Cryo Whopper Flowers, Primal Constructs, a lot of difficult stuff. For the second half, we're just going to throw anybody down there. We don't really care. We just want to try the first half with our main DPS Mona, Fischl, Nahida, and Kuki Shinobu. And actually, I'm thinking since we're just doing it for fun and we're not actually trying to make a huge spiral abyss run we probably don't actually need a healer so why don't we get a grouper instead in kazua so we can group enemies together easier let's try this because this can make things a lot more fun we're gonna get increased elemental mastery to increase our reaction damage and let's go do this we're gonna swirl them all together official bird do the nahita bang and now we go in 3Ks, 3Ks. Oh, look at that spread. Look at that spread damage. Okay. And I need Kazuo to group them all up again. And they're all dead. Easy as that. And I didn't even use the burst that time either. That's how good it is. I don't even need the burst. I Unfortunately, I swirled the wrong element there. That was a little unfortunate. And go in. 6Ks on the normal attack. Oh my goodness. I can't even see all the numbers. There's so many numbers. Oh my gosh. Ah. This is so fast. We're actually doing consistent 4Ks on the normal attack. That's pretty decent. Where'd you go? There you are. Nice. There's just so many no numbers going on that you can't keep track of everything. It's so it's so chaotic, but it's such a fun build. Let's try using the burst. Bang. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at all the bloom. Bang. One's already dead. Go in main DPS Mona. 4K, 7K. She's almost dead though because we didn't bring a healer. <laughs> that might have been a dumb decision, but I'm, I'm, I'm having fun with it. Let's keep going. Shoot. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to get the right swirl this time. We got the, get the hydro swirl. There we go. Hydro swirl. I need the official bird, the Hida, and then we're going to do official bird, Mona burst, and then they all die. They all die just like that. 60K on the burst, 6K on the normal attacks. Wait, one of them's invisible. No, no, one of them got away. Oh, no, never mind. He's right here. Go in. Go in. Let's go go and that is main dps mona for you i don't think it's the most meta defining but in terms of enjoyment you just love seeing those huge numbers and you can constantly be attacking with your normal attacks and that's what's so fun about it now why don't we try highlighting her normal attacks as much as possible we're gonna keep fish on the party but instead we're gonna switch out nahida for yoon jin to do some crazy high damage normal attacks. And then also we're going to throw in here Beto to get some crazy electro charged normal attacks going. We could also do Kazuha. That's another very viable option. I think we do maybe Kazuha over Beto. Obviously this team isn't completely viable because you would need a healer on it. But you could always replace Fischl for somebody like Kuki Shinobu who would be a viable healer. And I think this team would work for main DPS. Obviously, reactions aren't going to be great, but we're more focusing on Mona's pure damage. Let's head over 
and kill Masanori. We can get debuffs with Kazuha, we can increase our normal attack with Yunjin, and then we can also heal plus do electric charge damage with our Kuki Shinobu. Yes, let's spar Masanori. Here we go. Bang. We got, okay, we already got basically all our burst up. Ow, ow. So we do this, and then we need to fuse you with that. Do the big burst. Bang, that, and 11Ks on normal attacks is insane. Do you see that 11K on the normal attack? 11K, 11K, 20K, 20K. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so much fun. 10K, 11K. Obviously with Kazuha burst down, it does a lot less. Oh gosh. Okay, let's let's get our burst back up. Let's get our burst back up. Okay, here we go. Bang. We, we fused him with it. Then we do this. And then we go in. 15K. 15K is on normal attacks. <laughs> 17, 15Ks. That is insane. And that is main DPS Mona for you. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to leave a like down below or subscribe. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.